okay guys so now in this video we'll start working on the java part and to do so uh, first if you see our ui we don't have a pay with stripe so i'll add that first so come back to activity payment and let me just copy this button or you can create new button just below this okay create button over here button wrap content wrap content and close this then button text will be pay with stripe all right and what else i think we can copy same feature from here let me just copy this is wrap content wrap content margin top is not required and background is same background okay and the text color should be white which is here okay so now alignment we have to do let me just keep this here now i think we have some size issue is there to do fix this issue change this element from one four two you can give uh, 94 here which give us some space or maybe you can give more than that Alright, I give a lot of space here and now I'm going to keep it here and put it here or keep it below here. Then this one will be uh, pay with razor pay. Alright. So this is razor pay and the other one is stripe. Cool. Now before that I want to make sure one more thing. Uh, that we want to put this in the scroll view so i'll put this in the scroll view so to do so i'm going to create new uh, first scroll view then match parent match parent close this okay outside you can let no one more constant layout match parent match parent then close this now inside that i'm going to add all this data all right control x inside this okay so that you know if data is more than that we can scroll also this is now we have this pay with stripe and i'm going to add one on click listener so on click we can pay with stripe this is not required mm, stripe i'll enter create new function pay with stripe all right we got this function here at time what we are going to do we are going to new intent 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 equal to new intent and from pay activity payment activity dot this to and okay, we don't have now i'm going to create new activity for the uh, stripe that will be uh, i'll give name as uh, come back here check out check out okay check out activity java i'm trying to give the same name check out activity dot java so uh, let me just i think i have already have let me delete this i have added before you don't need to since you don't have it and let me create new one uh, activity empty activity uh, check out activity and then java all right now finish this Parent mistake here. We got the activity here. Now, when you click on that button, go to checkout activity dot 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 class. All right, then come outside. Then you can start activity. Pass the intent, and that's all. Now, in the checkout activity, right now we don't have anything here. So if you come back to the documentation, we have to add this two thing. We can just copy this and paste it inside here. Yep, we got this. So now we have to do some alignment. You can change the UI as you know whatever, however you want it. For now, we'll just keep this way. All right. And then this is the layout XML, and this part is done. We already added this. 
now we have to add all this java part yeah come back here now to add so first i'll import all this thing De uh, default i am going to import all this dependency all right come back to java file check out java now after this import you can remove this and paste yeah got it so we didn't get any error here now we all we have imported now i'm going to import all this thing copy this and paste it inside app compatibility this url is nothing android emulator allies to a local host so you, what we are trying to do is the moment we call this okay we write this it will call this backend which is i actually i have changed this to is i subline i remember i we have made it 3000 3000 i made it change back to 4242 so it's listening to 4242 all right so we, this is the path and now uh, this is http you can also use uh, what do you call uh, we have alternative also worldly also you can use and uh, retrofit also you can use but we are using http okay okay http sorry all right then you come back here then uh, what i'll do now wait java come down and you have to configure the sdk this way so come back to this path and paste here now what we are trying to we are just initializing object called stripe passing context and publish key so publish key we can get it from the dashboard i will get it from go to developer api key and not secret key publish key copy this and paste it here all right then uh, what happened the moment you load this page it will initialize and it will call this checkout function i'll create this function we got this function and come back to documentation in the checkout first what we are trying to do we will copy this and paste it inside this and this error we can fix it by uh, putting the slash over slash escape character so wherever there's a double code inside double code you can remove this these two are required and this you can remove remove this you can i mean uh, ignore actually sorry this we need and let's finish this ignore 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 this nuts and that's all yeah these are the uh, thing and then this is done now what we'll do moment you load the page it will call checkout function and it will call this api create payment intent which is in this all right and this will communicate with stripe okay uh, stripe and then in return what we will get we will get secret uh, payment in from the payment intent we will get client secret so we are doing all these things just to get payment uh, client secret still it is not done the moment we will call uh, http we are going to call this call back which is uh, we haven't write the code so what is it class name pay call back so we have to search for pay call back which is over here all right so pay call back so if you come down here yep till here i'm just gonna paste it here all right so uh, the moment we uh, do this it will call this pay call back if it is success if it is failed this code will execute if it is successful you will get this and at the end once we got everything we are calling on payment success function which we don't have again we have to get it from here so where is on payment success yep over here on payment success copy this code and paste it inside here all right now the moment we got uh, payment uh, not payment successful if this transaction is successful you'll get call this function and once we called we get this client secret and we'll store inside payment intent client secret now this is the key which you know you can use to do transaction without this you can't do any transaction with skype all right so this is done we got client intent uh, client secret now we'll start on pay button and then do transaction okay so come back to the top where we are doing our work here all right this part is done now the moment you click on the pay button all right moment you click on the pay button we are trying to get the card input from card we'll get param and then we are calling this uh, pay stripe by passing this card detail we are passing cut detail here and then pay intent client secret which we got just now all right then we'll start uh, confirming payment now th this the moment that we call this function uh, it will start doing transaction but the uh, result of this we can get it from on activity result so we have to get this on activity result all right so 
Let me just get this one. So right on activity itself. Copy this and you can paste it just here. Alright, so the moment the uh, transaction is done, whether it's successful or not, you will call this. Okay, on payment uh, result. Then you will, uh, that time you will get uh, call this function, payment result callback. Again, we don't have this one to get this. We have to search for class name. I think it's at the bottom of here. So as you can see, this is on payment result callback. So you can copy all this part and paste it down here. All right, so we will call this payment result callback once the payment is done. So if payment is successful, if the transaction is successful, we'll call this and we'll display this payment complete and all. If it is failed, or then you will give this error also. All right, but uh, we are getting one error display alert. So we have to get this display alert function. I think it's in somewhere. Yep, it's over here. This function is required, but we are not going to use this uh, display alert function. What it will do is it will display whatever is there in the UI in the pop pop up. That is what we are doing in the uh, alert title filter. All right, so this is done now. <coughs> I think everything is done, but uh, wait. Let me just come back here. Mm, this make sure you have this URL and yeah i think that's all we need and wait yeah that's all we need i think we got everything let me just make it small and uh, okay cool so what now what we will do is uh, we'll start uh, doing a check the transaction is going or not to do so, uh, we have to check in, in emulator. I'm not going to use my phone. We have to use emulator. Since I don't have one, I'm going to create a new one. And this will take some time. I will continue after uh, some time.